Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new here before jumping any further into today's video, be sure to go ahead and click that subscribe button. We are trying to reach 6K by the end of March. That is the next goal for this channel, so join the family if you haven't already. I post new videos three times a week, so there's always new content to binge. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my go-to glam makeup look. This is the makeup that I've been using probably for the last like month and a half, anytime I've just needed something easy but very glam. Since we're in a pandemic, when I say like go Going glam I don't mean like full-on glam like if I was going out to an event but this is what I use if I'm like filming all day or if I have multiple zoom meetings with clients something that needs to be a little bit more full coverage and really kind of like all out but I'm really in love with this especially the lip combo I've been wearing it a lot in recent vlogs and also sit down videos and I've been getting a lot of questions as far as like what I've been using so sharing all of that in today's video I'm so excited though and I can't believe it took me this long to film my first makeup tutorial of 2021 but I promise more are coming and if you guys have any particular like makeup looks that you want to see be sure to leave them in the comments down below for this video I'm gonna have every single product that I use linked down below so it's really easy in case you guys want to purchase anything but without further ado let's just get right into it okay so we are starting with my milk hydro grip primer obviously this is like seriously one of my ride or die primers and then I'm going in with my urban decay stay naked foundation I love this stuff because it's really full coverage it's very matte it's pretty much almost 100% transfer proof and uh, Dakota wanted to pop in and say hello which I just thought was so cute <music> Next up, I'm taking my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have really been enjoying quite the bright under eye. I just feel like it wakes you up and it just looks so fresh. So again, just blending it in with my Beauty Blender and then I'm just setting that with my Glossier Wouter and I'm being careful to not apply too much because I am gonna use quite a few powder or face products. My current favorite bronzer is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. I have the mini travel size at the moment, but I think I'm definitely going to get the full size once I hit pan on this. It's just like so natural, but yet buildable too. Um, and then for blush, I'm taking this really pretty like matte mauve from the Too Faced Natural Face Palette. I absolutely love this palette, you guys know. And I'm using the highlighter from that same palette as well. Okay, so after priming my eyes, it's time for my brows. So I'm using my Glossier brow pen. I think I have to order a new one soon because I really had to shake this up. But I pretty much just focus on filling in like a little bit in the front of my brows and then just carrying that through the middle just to make sure that the pen like really blends in. And then of course, I'm setting all of that with my Anastasia brow gel. Love this stuff. It's literally like waterproof. It lasts all day. I even use this on days where I'm not filling in my brows and I just want them to look a little bit fluffier. Now for the eyes, I'm actually going to be using the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I'm going to be taking this really beautiful matte, kind of like lilac purple, and I'm going to be working this into the crease. This is my first time actually featuring this palette on my channel, but I have been using it literally nonstop. It is so good. I don't know what took me so long to purchase it. And then for the lid, I'm just gonna be using this kind of like orange undertone brown with a little bit of a sheen to it. The eye look is super easy, but I feel like, again, it looks very put together and it looks like you took a pretty decent amount of time on it. For mascara, I'm using another new Marc Jacobs favorite. I really love this mascara. You have to be a little careful with it because it is quite wet, but I think it makes your lashes look amazing. Recently, I've been really enjoying like for the daytime, for more of like a daytime quarantine glam, just doing the um, upper lashes and kind of skipping the bottom when it comes to mascara. So now I was going to use my setting spray, but I realized I was all out. So I broke out my travel bottle. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. So now the moment that I've been talking about for a really long time, my current favorite lip combo. So it starts with the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner in Pillow Talk, which is just like such a staple. Mm -hmm. 
Then I'm taking this YSL like liquid lipstick, but when I say it literally feels like water on your lips, it is so weightless. It lasts all day. I love the color. Again, it's kind of like a mauve pink, so it goes with the pillow talk perfectly. And then I'm just taking this pale pink gloss from Buxom and applying it just right to the center of both my top and bottom lip, not really overdoing it at all. And then there you guys have it. That is my current go-to glam makeup look. There you guys have it. That is how I created this go-to glam makeup look. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and also click that subscribe button because like I said, we are trying to reach 6K by the end of March. Follow me on all of my other social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, subscribe to my podcast, check out my Amazon shop. I love you guys so much. I hope that you all are staying safe, happy, and healthy, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Okay? Bye, everybody.